Hi, my name is Tamara Lipsy, and I'm an aquatic biologist with the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy. Today, we are going to demonstrate how to use a Secchi disc to measure water clarity in lakes using the protocol from the MyCore Cooperative Lakes Monitoring Program. Plan to measure water clarity every week or at a minimum every other week from mid-May to mid-September. Plan to take your measurements between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Taking a measurement at any other time may result in an inaccurate measurement. Before you head out on the lake, make sure you assemble all the necessary equipment and fill out your data sheet on the front and the map of the lake on the back. You will need your sucky disc, safety equipment, data sheet and clipboard, pencil or permanent ink pen, and an anchor in case it's windy. Once you have your equipment, proceed to your monitoring location, which should be over the deepest part of the lake. If there is any wind, the sucky disc will not go straight down and you will not get an accurate measurement. In this case, drop your anchor right before you get to your sampling location and drift in. Now remove your sunglasses and move to the shady side of the boat and begin to lower the secchi disc into the lake until it disappears. Note the depth from the top of the water. Then raise the secchi disc until it reappears and note that depth. Average these two numbers to the nearest half foot and write this number on your data sheet. If your lake is clear and shallow, your secchi disc may still be visible while sitting on the bottom of the lake. In this case, record the depth on your data sheet and write on bottom in the unusual conditions column. And there you have it, you have measured secchi disc depth. To learn more about the MyCore Cooperative Lakes Monitoring Program, visit us at mycore.net.